Okay, in the last video, we talked about our space and what ways we can protect and increase our space. So we're gonna talk about our personal space and our vessel space because it follows the same guidelines. We're gonna to have to have an intention and what we wanna happen within the, spe within the self. We're gonna to have to have an energy attachment, so that an emotional attachment is probably gonna be the best for this. So we're gonna to wanna to connect to our heart energy and we're gonna to wanna to find that inner love for ourselves the whole way through this process. So we're gonna to try to really avoid the thought space um, unless we're looking for incantations or a spell or some kind of specific wording. But in general, we're gonna look for the heart space so we can have that blanket level of energy and love for ourselves. And then we're gonna do some kind of action to ourselves, Even if it's as simple as brushing our hair, changing our clothes, going on a run, setting a new routine, getting a drink, something different, cleansing ourselves. If when we're cleansing, drink water, water is a purification. Do, do a pranic breathing exercise and do take 10 deep breaths. We, it's very simple, just take 10 deep breaths and then that's your, gonna be your physical action of self. You can go as involved and as detailed as self-grooming and pampering and self-admiration, mantras, um, I am statements. So it's, it's up to you to the depth because the more deep you go into self-care and self-love and self-devotion, the stronger the impact's gonna become. If you just trim your nails, then it, it can signify a lot and a big change and more care to your nails, something that you've maybe neglected for a, a big portion of your life. And then that's gonna signify like um, you're no longer neglectful for something that you used to take for granted. Or if you like go all the way to I am statements every day or a routine change, uh, running an exercise or something like that, then that itself is at its own symbolism and speaks for itself. It is now you're, you're on a positive word choice choosing or you're now on a positive exercise building. Um, so when we do this, it's gonna be the same. We're gonna close our eyes and we're gonna look inward to self. And first we have our energetic barrier, our field, and that's gonna be our property lines is how far our energy gets. So as soon as our energy can connect, it doesn't matter where in the etheric realm, if you're in my energetic space, that's my first bit, that's my first barrier line. And then I'm gonna bring that in more and more and more until I get to my core heart space or my core self. So first thing you wanna do is close your mind and imagine like, um, we'll do like barriers first. So you wanna fill that outer space with like a gold barrier or a white light um, and then make it reflective so it can be shimmering or shiny and then it can reflect all levels and manners of negativity back onto itself so it can learn from itself its own growth and own lessons without that being impacted upon you. You can welcome in all positive thought forms so they can bring positive growth to self. Um, and then you say it so it's so. And so I see that golden space illuminate around you and like you're in a bubble now and trapped in that. And then see that the more you can see it and the more vivid it can become, the more solid that becomes. So you wanna take this time and look at it intently and see it vividly and reiterate the intention clearly to reaffirm the law and the rule beyond the space is like, no, oh, this is the rule, this is the rule. Because some beings are like, well, well, that wasn't the rule yesterday. Yesterday, these were the rules. And so then it's like, well, I'm not really kind of sure, so let me ask the host. And so you might get some maybes coming in, um, but reaffirming the rule, no, this is the rule. Like, no means no. Like, that's it. It's just no. Then it's like, well, yeah, the rule yesterday doesn't apply today, buddy. So like, today it says no, and no means no, you're not coming in, so thank you. And then they're like, oh, well, they might throw a fit, they do their thing, but then they're staying away still. But that's their own thing. It's being reflected onto themselves without even you coming into that awareness or that self-realization that somebody is being grumpy and trying to come into your space because it takes care of that for you without you having to be burdened with that information. And it provides their self-growth. So it's healthy for them too, so they can see their own negativity and they can learn from their own lessons without it impacting or hurting upon others. And then, so we're gonna come closer. We can fill that barrier, that boundary space with like uh, a white mist. So from our outer levels into our core self, we can envision just like this white dense mist so it like you can see it light and then I'll allow it to get more and more dense as it thickens up to where you can't see the golden barrier on the horizon or the distance. And just thicken it up so you can't see your hands in front of you 
and thicken it up all the way to where you can't see anything. It's just thick white mist. And then allow this thick white mist to just consume you and envelop you all the way. And then breathe it in, because this is like the mist of intention is all intended beings of good and positive will are allowed through this space, but they must rise to meet your highest frequency. It's not your current self or connecting point, it's your highest self. So they can only bring higher self purpose and higher self growth. If they're here to bring the same or lesser, they're not welcome. Even if you're a positive being, that's great. I'm happy you're a positive being, but we're only looking for growth at this point. We're not looking for stagnation or regression. And so it's gonna cause them to shed off their lower selves every step of the way. It's gonna become heavier and heavier every step of the way and just shed off these lower selves and the let miss is gonna cleanse them and brighten them up and they're gonna raise up to a higher self and it's gonna become a more loving version of themselves with more positive self that's able to, pro to become productive in our growth. And then what we can do too is on the ground beneath the feet from where we're standing to the barrier beneath the mist, we can transform that all into um, like a quicksand or a sinking cement of some kind of gold or whatever color you want it to do be. Gold would be really helpful. Gold is good for entrapment. Um, and what it does is all negativity as the mist is cleansing them is it gets sucked down through their feet and entraps all that negativity in through their, their grounding point. And so not only is it gonna cleanse them and purify that negativity off, it's also going to bring that negativity down into a cleansing and grounding point. And with good intention and strong um, will point at this, on this level, you could even purify that, that negativity with that gold, light, quicksand, or sinking cement without ever coming in contact with it and without them having to do anything or any level of realization. It'll just happen naturally. It's just part of the process. It's just like a trap. They'll be like walking in and be like, whoa, oh no, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And now they're transforming inside of it. And you won't ever come in contact. You won't ever, like it's just, it just happens without any kind of realization. You can set up intentions to say, hey, let me know when this happens. Let me know when somebody enters my space. You can set these rules as much as you want around your space. So for me, I have an, a rule that any new thought form or construct or being who enters my space, whether it's positive or negative, I don't care about alignment, any new being who enters my space must present itself before me and it, so that way I can acknowledge it until I acknowledge it. So you can't be in my space until I give you acknowledgement. So that gives me that opportunity to see anything coming in and out this bit. Not really out because it's, it's more for in. So that way anything that's coming in, I can have awareness of it and I can say, hey, you're in my better interest or hey, you're not in my better interest and I can still have that extra level of filtering. Where are you? So, Where are you? Thank you. <clears throat> um, now we're going to look inside of ourselves and we're going to look at different facts, facets of ourselves and we want to be more specific with this. Look at our heart, look at our lungs, look at our intestines, look at our fingers, our toes, every facet from our eyeballs to our nose to our ears, our face in general, our skin color and tone. We want to look at every facet of ourself and detail in our mind space and we want to bring that love for self about and just like if you don't have that love for self we're going to find it through loving others. So find your spouse or your true mate or find somebody who you like your kid, somebody who you can have like a great swelling of love for and allow that emotion to come up because you just need the emotion to be aroused whether the intention is behind it or not. And so the intention is behind it because you're saying it. So it's not whether it does or not, it's whether you believe it or not. So you don't have to believe that you love yourself. You have to have the emotion to exist. Having that emotion to exist will cause the belief to become existent. Um, and so find that true love in self, for self, and wrap all of yourself in that blanket of love. And then through that love, I want you to uh, let that sink into yourself and just like make it so thick that it, it becomes like your aura or your blanket of self-love. So that way all of your cells and everybody inside of you who is working so hard to keep you alive and facilitate your continued functionality on this realm has and can feel that self-love for self. So... When you do this, it's going to reheal and purify them, and it's going to encourage them to continue growing and being um, productive for yourself. And then it's going to empower them with that love and that inner strength because they're learning the same lessons as we are on a, their own microscopic and their own individual life path scale. 
And so by infusing them with this love, they're going to become more empowered to fight off and ward off negativity. It's going to raise the vibration of our inner self to that love self. Um, and so by doing these simple um, techniques that are presented on self, we can create healthy boundaries. We can create a, um, a layer so when people come and enter into our space, it's going to cause them to rise up to meet us, not us fall down to meet them or come down to their level to meet them on a connecting point. Always rise up to meet us. You always rise up to meet the higher light. You never have the light come down to meet you. So just know that connectivity point and then belief and have that strong vivid in your mind, strong imagining, strong intention, specific with the words, and then allow it to permeate your existence. Do some level of self-care, brush your hair, groom your nails, brush your teeth, Whatever you have to do in yourself, go on a walk, go on a run, do something, level of self-care, drink lots of water, hydrate, take a purifying bath, something of that nature to self-care to allow that energy and that barrier. Cleansing yourself is really helpful too. So just take those in, um, inspirations as inspiration points and build off of them with your own self and be like, oh, I can also do this and I can also do that and find your own level of creativity and inspiration in that and then impact it on yourself. And like, because I am God of self, only beings who are allowed and entities and thought constructs are allowed to interact with me who are in my most positive and highest light itself. So anything of lesser is supposed to be reflected back to self and is not allowed that level of interaction because <clears throat> they need to learn their own lessons in order to come up to me. They're going to suck on your light and bring you back down. So that's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try and get back to it. All right. Have a great day.